These project costs are tricky things. I know how many people I need and what I need to buy to get things done, but it's hard to convert that into a time-phased forecast over the life of the project. I'm experienced at managing operational teams, no problemo, but with those, costs tend to stay steady over time. These costs are different according to the stage of the project. Mucho Maresville. In my day, Simon, we used to put all the paperwork into an envelope, jot down some running totals on the back, and then hand a whole lot over to finance for somebody to deal with the rest. I can talk you through some examples from old projects if you like. Thanks, Gary, but I need something a bit more structured. Well, we could classify it and collate the costs into categories. That could have legs. Something like this. I think I'll pass. You just can't help some people. I think it's the project approach and the terminology that's got me foxed. I know my BAU from my BPO and my CAPEX from my OPEX, but all this ATD, EAC, etc. is giving me the runaround. Seriously not cool. When are you going to talk to Mike about some ideas? Yes, I reached out to him to touch base. In fact, I think that's him calling for our diarised slot right now. Hi Mike, you got any ideas? Mike, I can't hear you. Nope, that's no better. It's a shame, I think he would have had some good ideas. I don't think you'll get anywhere with him. He's Mike on mute. Yes, his mic's on mute. No, he's Mike on mute. Huh? Oh, never mind. Anyway, it sounds to me like you need more expert help with this. Yep, I think so. Well, someone once gave me this emergency button for just these occasions. Here, have a go on that and see if it's any help. Okay then, here goes. What's that I hear? Somewhere, a project professional needs me! I heard you have a project problem. Alright Gary, that's tricks. Hey, PPP! Yeah mate, not bad, you know, ducking, diving, mustn't grumble. Uh, we need your help with some cost forecasting. Right. We need to know what we've actually spent so far. Okay, what we expect to spend in the future. Hmm. And how that all compares to what we've been authorised to spend. Gotcha. We need it to be easy to maintain. OK. What? And apparently my tried and tested systems don't meet corporate bookkeeping guidelines. Right, I know what to do, but I'm going to need your help. How can we help? I'm going to need a small fluffy animal. Now let's get to work. go. I've taken all of your expected resource assignments and I've converted them from FTEs to monthly monetary amounts. I've put that together with straightforward purchases and made a long list of what's due to be paid to who each month and whether each item is capex or opex. I've added metadata so that you can slice and dice the data however you like and pivot the hell out of it to create tailored views to suit the needs of your stakeholders. Thank you, pragmatic PMO person. You're welcome. Here, I gave one of these to Gary. Have this emergency button for the next time you need me. If you don't have an emergency button, you may want to download one of these. In the meantime, stay sensible. Years ago, an engineering project manager fled to financial services on the run from a crime he did not commit. He set up a PMO and then struck out on his own and learned to survive as a soldier of fortune. If you have a project problem, if you need some support you can actually lean on, and if you can find him, maybe you can hire a pragmatic PMO person. <laughs>